Dude! That's so cool. Man, look at this. Look at the art. It's so good. It's ticks eating some fish. It's flora. Who's 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 this? Who's the hand? I don't know, but it's it's all pretty cool. Is it meant to be Fat Moo or something? I'm not sure, but it's sick. Like, look at this, guys. That's insane. Hello friends and fellow gamers, it's MKXJump here, and in today's video we're checking out this week's brand new event. I'm very excited to share it with you, but before we do, I'd love to give a shout out to three new individuals who've decided to back me on Patreon. Fishy, PTP, and Anthony Capane, thank you so much for your support. If you want to be like them and pledge to me on Patreon, you can find the link up there in the top corner of the screen or down below in the description for more details. But anyway guys, let's go check out this week's event for Idle Heroes. So guys, for logging in daily, I mean, we've got our little apology message. If you haven't already got that, guys, get your scrolls, get your gems. But the main thing here, guys, is it is a campaign loot drop event. So they're going to give us blueberry macaroons. Om nom 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 nom. And those macaroons are going to be used to get ourselves some cool rewards. So by merely looking at this macaroon, you can almost smell its tantalizing sweetness. No, I can't. But you know what? I'm glad you've got that much confidence in your products, DH Games. As well, Super Wishing Coins, of course. It's a Super Wishing, well, not Super, but normal Wishing Fountain event, which is pretty, pretty decent. So, guys, this is pretty sweet. All right, yeah, sweet, you get it? Because it's, because it's, it's, never mind. All right, let's go and take a look at the big stuff, though. What are we looking forward to? We've got Almost Workshop carrying on over, which is pretty solid. So if you haven't had a chance to smush your artifacts together, go ahead, give it a try. You've always got these lovely artifacts here that you can play with. All of them have a use apart from maybe this pile of crap. But hey, you know, everything else is good. So have your fun. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time. If you haven't got an artifact, Glorious Boost is still here, guys. You've got another week. Go on. Get your Magic Stone Swords, your AMBs, your Antlers Canes, your Demon Bells, and your, your Golden Crowns. They're all pretty Gucci. I mean, of course, AMB and Golden Crown are the big boys, but hey, Demon Bell's not bad. And Magic Stone Sword, pretty decent in certain game modes. Has to be said. Anyway, enough of all that. Let's look at the new stuff. Value Packages... That's right, guys. It's your classic campaign loot drop value package. You get double the amount of gems as normal. You get 600 blueberry macaroons scrolling all the way down. That's nice. And 150 wishing coins. Again, scrolling down depending on how much you spend. And, of course, profit orbs. So that's pretty, pretty good. I like it. I think it's fine. You know, maybe you need to go spending. But the real question is, if you need to go spending, what is it for? Why are you doing this? Well, oh, okay, why are you doing this? Well, because there's a crystal package that's back, and holy crap, that gives the cause of transcendence? Dude, this is sick. Wow, for 50 bucks, you're getting a choose-your-own five-star chest that contains Morax, Anosuke, Tix, Flora. Okay, wow. Big brain play from DH Games, sticking Anosuke in this chest, instantly increasing the value. Smart. 300 universal crystals is dope. 5,000 gems is double the amount you'd normally get for spending 50 bucks. And cause of transcendence? Like, that's a package. That's insane. That's like... Is that the best value crystal package we've had in a while? Like, for real, that's nuts. I love it. That's... Pog, man. Major Pogs. Right, okay. Idol is sweet house. Oh, wow. On the topic of it being crap, wildfire torches here. Well, I'm not buying this. Get out of the... Get out of it. No one cares. Right, carry. Interesting. Okay in PvP. Not really got a use in much other areas of the game, unless it's, you know, you're, you're fighting enemies you need to steal energy from, but that's like, eh, uh, I mean, it's Carrie. What are you going to do? Like, she's a great hero. Like, she's a phenomenal hero. But, like, it's Carrie. I see why she's here, but not exciting. Flora? No way. Nah, I'm good. Leave it. Leave that hero for June. That, that's June's hero. Not interested. The only hero that's remotely interesting here is, is, is Sia. And... That's mainly because she has a Transcendence version, so if you need more copies for your Sword Flash, there you go. Skin? Nah. Boring. Next. Main thing you want to go for, guys, is Profit Orbs here. This, there's nothing really jumping out to me. I mean, maybe if this was like Russell or Drake, that'd be cool, but I mean, it's Carrie. Hey-ho. I mean, maybe some people need another copy of Carrie. That's fine. Maybe I'm just a bit disenfranchised because I already have two copies of E5 Carrie. Maybe it's just me reflecting my privilege 
into this event. But generally, a lot of people that don't have carries probably don't want to be going for her anyway, because if you're like a mid-tier player that doesn't really spend much money, I think you can get a lot more value from other heroes than carry. But hey, if you're a big spender that wants to go crazy in PvP, maybe carry's going to help you out. But even then, there's a lot of great teams out there at the moment that don't run carry at all. So, just saying. Alright, anyway, Prophet Orbs are the main thing you probably want to go for here. Potentially Heroic Summon Scrolls if you can. And holy crap, that's new! You can trade in your Cornucopias for a Glorious Relic? Well, that's nice. So if any of you were silly enough to forget to use your last Cornucopia, you can go and get one Glorious Relic. That's a nice little... Lol, you done messed up. Here's a Glorious Relic. That's quite funny. I find that quite humorous. Actually, no, no, it's not a lol you done messed up. Because actually, some people may have needed to save dice to get to the next stage and also had cornucopias traveling over. And because the event ended immediately when you'd get those dice cashed in, that's good. Actually, no, so that's nice. To people that were just on the cusp and had to save dice, that's okay if you've got cornucopias sitting on there. That's DH Games thinking about the little guy. Maybe they could have made it three because that was the average you got. I think one's a bit cheeky. But, you know... At least you get something. At least you're getting a relic for it. So that's pretty solid. So let's go take a look now. Wishing Fountain event. All right. King Barton. Interesting. He's probably the best reward we've had in Wishing Fountain for a while. It's not amazing. But he's there. That's cool. And you get two Profit Orbs. Another two Profit Orbs for getting to 100. For getting to 200, you get two more Profit Orbs. And of course you get the Super Wishing Coins. But that's, that's kind of the only reason you're really going to be spinning your Super Wishing Coins. Is to get your hands on... I mean, on your profit orbs, right? That's that's kind of the way to go. Let's have a look at this mysterious chest. What's that going to give us? Anything fancy? I sure hope so. So, first chest. Five heroic summon scrolls plus 5,000 heroic promotion stones. That's good. You want that? That's good value. I say this every time. 100 gems for an heroic scroll is pretty good. 1,500 gems getting you four profit orbs. 10k monster parts. Again, that's a pretty good deal. Not going to lie, that's basically slightly like what's well, four for the price of three pretty much so that that's fine what are we looking at now okay skin shards pack chaos stones 2500 not really worth it i don't rate this too much i don't think it's probably worth your time investing in this i think there's much better things you can spend your gems on so that's a hard pass for me 4,000 to get 35k magic dust and an elite five-star hero shard could be good because they've cleaned up the five-star hero shard pool They've removed some more heroes, so they've made it a little bit better for us. 35k magic dust as well is definitely worth the 4,000 gems if you need the magic dust. So if you're in a situation where you want dust, that's interesting. But hold your horses, guys! Wait! Because the 8,000 chest... Look at this! This is beautiful. That's like... Oh! Happiness in a box. 8,000 gems getting you ticks... And 30 Glorious Relics. And 30k Guild Coins. Finally, the 8k chests are back up to fine form. Alright, the last time we had a chest this good, it was Amon Ra. 30 Relics, 30k Guild Coins. DH Games, just give us chests like this. 30 Relics, 30k Guild Coins, and a stonking hero. Right, that's what we want. Tix is a big boy. Even though he's quite short, he's a big boy. Right, having all that in there for 8k is beautiful value. That's the kind of mysterious chests we want to see. Right, that's the stuff we want. That's the content we play this game for. For nice, juicy stuff like that. But you guys are telling me you want to see the event preview. That's fine, we'll do that. Shelter mission is the thing they want me to show you. Take a look at this. Look at that. Penny, Garuda, Nakia, and Gustin. Alright? The big standouts here are Penny and Garuda. For early players, that's massive. Sleepless and Gurk, get in the bin. Forget them. Pleh. Rubbish. Naki are basically food at this point. I mean, you can try using her. Go ahead. Um, but fodder her off at 10 star. You can use her as a 10 star support and then feed her away later on in the game. That's totally fine. But then again, I wouldn't even build her as a 10 star support, to be fair. There's better 10 star supports. And then Gustin, to be fair, he's, he's an okay 10 star support. I mean, cleaning up your heroes is nice if he gets an active skill off. If he ain't got those carries to steal in his energy... Augustine active skill is actually pretty good. So, they're okay. Two decent support heroes, two good early 
carry heroes. That's nice, right? You can't complain. It's a good shelter mission for early players. And of course, guys, it's going to be Imp's Adventure, everyone's favorite event. And what's this? Winter Supplies? During the event, players who have purchased the Winter Supplies will receive great daily rewards for seven days. Rewards will be sent via mail. I'm guessing, guys, just, just guessing, that's going to cost gems. Or money. Or both. Probably both. If you've got the gems lying around, and I imagine you do, because last week was pretty huge. The diamond fund getting the kick up the backside, everyone getting reimbursed a ton of stuff because of it. You're getting a ton of gems now from your monthly cards. If you spend even a smidge on this game, you've bound to got a lot of gems lying around. So don't go spending them all on your gem boxes. Go get that 8k gem box. That's good. I mean, it, it's it's amazing. It's not good. It's It's beautiful. It's perfection. However... It could cost gems. Barry's even showed his face. He reckons it's going to be a seven-day card. A card? Maybe. The thing is, we won't know until earlier on when the spoilers get released. And did you know, guys, that this event doesn't end when the spoilers are released? So the real advice I'm going to leave with you is use your gems after we've seen spoilers, after we know what we're dealing with. That's probably going to be maybe Monday, if not Monday, It'll be Wednesday. And you can go catch that on the Idol Heroes Twitter, on the Idol Heroes Facebook page. Barry will make a video, because that's what Barry does. So yeah, there's definitely a little sense of waiting and anticipation on what that could be. And we need some further clarification, because it says purchase. Now, do they want me to part with the old, the old moolah, or do they want my gems? I'm not sure yet, but it's probably going to be gems or money. One of the two. If it's something else, they done got me fooled. Like, if it's like, ha, five profit orbs, it's not going to be five profit orbs. I'm, I'm, I'm joshing you. But potentially it's going to cost gems. But we have to wait and see. But yeah, if you want to know what to use your gems on now, guys, obviously you need to save 4,500 gems for Imps Adventure. You're going to need to probably buy this. That's amazing value. That's amazing value. And this is just beautiful. If you can afford the 8,000 gems to get this top package... I absolutely recommend you do, because it's great. So that's the event. Let me know down in the comments section whether you think next week's purchasable item is going to be with gems or with cash. Let me know what you're thinking, guys, because I'm pretty sure it might be gems. Barry thinks it's going to be cash, and there's only one way to find out, and that's by waiting. So hopefully you guys have a lot of gems going into this event, because there's a lot of great stuff to buy. You're going to need more gems next week for Imp's Adventure, and maybe this additional thing. So good luck to you guys, and yeah, have all the best this week. It should be a fun one of just kind of chilling and anticipating. There's not much to do, apart from, I guess, spinning Wishing Fountain every now and then, just to make sure you're keeping that over. But everything seems pretty fine to me. It seems like a pretty standard Wishing Fountain, Gem Boxes, and Campaign Loot Drop event. Of course, it would be nice to have a little bit more interesting things, like a slightly better artifact, but hey, guys, nothing's perfect, and Flora is an optional purchasable hero. Well, you know, it was her time to come eventually. Unfortunately, she doesn't excite me all that much. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this event down below in the comments section, and if you want to catch my event reviews every Friday, be sure to subscribe. If you can't wait until more uploads, you can find some content here on the side of the screen, and thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Have a great week, and happy idling.